welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to take a look at the Euro Hike Two Man Deluxe Tunnel Tent. It's a bit windy so I do apologise, any shaking, um, obviously if you can hear the wind over me I try and do my best. Um, this is a new one, just for the purpose of the video I want to show you a bit of an unpacking, show you, you can see exactly how it comes in the bag when you buy it if you go into. Um, I have got another one of these which I've used many times and I do think for the price it's a brilliant little tent. I got it for Forty pounds off um, millets was on offer. It should it says it should be 110. I don't know if it's quite worth that, if I'm being honest. But especially if you're starting out, lovely little tent. So we'll go ahead now, and I'll um, I'll open it up and I'll let you see what's in the bag. Right. So let's take a quick look what comes in the bag itself. First off, I'll point out the instructions are attached sewn into the actual inside of the bag themselves. Um, you've got your instructions on one side, pretty basic, oh, it's only a little tent. Just say it's recommended for one to two people. Um, and then on the other side, you have got a bit of advice um, about pitching your tent, fire precautions, uh, condensation, pegs and zips, wet weather, and then storage and maintenance for when you're done using it. Just tuck that back in there to get the main part out so when you first start off it will all come wrapped up obviously it'll be up to yourselves if you want to put it back like that a lot of people don't people will carry their poles separately sometimes a bit easier we'll unfold it a little bit bag of poles open it up so you can see like I say it is all brand new so this is what you'll be getting, but always, especially before you get rid of any returns labels or receipts, make sure you have got everything. Even with it being new, I've known to um, miss out on a few bits. Little bag of pegs, not sure how many you get. It's not going to be loads, because it's not the biggest of tents. Uh, what we got? Five, I'd say about 12 pegs there, roughly. Didn't actually count them properly, but either way you'll have enough. We'll unfold it all if we can. You might not be able to see properly on the video. Comes in two parts, which you will pitch separately. But what you can do once you've set this up once and you've attached it, you can take it down in one go and fold it up as the one tent. So next time when you come to use it, it's ready to go basically. Can't do it properly on the video because it's not enough room. But obviously, you can see what you get here. Move that out of the way. And then we've got the outer, sorry, first part was the inner tent, and then we've got the outer, which is your waterproof layer. So, what I'll do now, I'll get this tent set up, um, and I'll show you when it's all done. Right, that's the outer shell done. Um, no, by no means perfect. It was a quick rush job just for the purpose of the video. As you can see, that's the outside, and I'll take you for a quick look on the inside without the without the um, internal. You see, plenty of room. If you zoom out, you can get a bit of a better view. I walk you around the tent. Here's the back. Yeah, I've got these vents um, at the back as well, which is ideal. The condensation, you can Velcro them closed though. If it's, I suppose if you're getting a bit of a draft off, the weather is really that bad and the rain's somehow splashing up and coming through. The one little thing I do struggle with this tent, um, you may find it yourselves, is it's got a bit of slack on it. I've, I've not pulled it tight right now to be honest, so you can pitch it a lot better, but in the wind 
yeah, that is what you're going to get. And this outer does sit quite high off the ground, especially at the front, because I haven't pitched it properly. Um, especially tell there. But ideally, once you're zipped in, you're going to be all right. Um, you can obviously pitch it a bit better than I have. But I just wanted to tell you, it's not obviously all singing and dancing. There are little cons. It is a cheaper tent compared to some of your Van Gogh models. But I do think it's a good little tent. So you've also got these here. Again, you can Velcro them shut. You've got your window. Plus and negative for some people. Some people don't like it for privacy reasons. Other people like it to let the light in. So on a, um, if we go in, for example, and I'll not put the inner in. But on a miserable morning, if it's raining, you can have your door shut and you've still got your little um, your little windows for a bit of light and a bit of your view. Um, I'm going to, for example, lie down now. I will do it properly once we've got the inner in. But there's plenty of room in here. Um, you could squeeze two in, but we'll have a look at that a bit better in a bit. So I'll get the inside set up and, um, and we'll carry on with the rest of the video, okay? So just before I... Um, do the inside of the tent i just want to quickly show you how we're going to do it because um, once i'm in there it's going to be hard to film so if we go inside the tent basically what we've got is these little hooks well hoops should i say these here it's one at the top and then there's two on either side and then if we turn around got the same again there's one i can't really see it very well but it's just in front of that zip um another one there another one there and uh, yeah we basically just hook it through the hoops so very simple and like I say once you have done that for the first time um, if you want to leave it in there so it's a bit quicker next time you can um, it's down to personal preference really if you're in a rush and you know you just want to quickly get set up and get going I'd keep it all as one if you want to enjoy yourself get it pitched up a bit better probably I'd advise you to do it separately, but like I say, it's up to you at the end of the day. Per personal preference and depends on your situation, doesn't it? So yeah, I'll get the inside in and then I'll uh, I'll show you. So I'm going to try and um, film me pitching the inside of the tent. I have, then if you can see, I have started at the back just to get it going um, off camera because that would have been a bit fiddly to try and get in. I've done top centre and the top left. Then also what I did forget to mention. I can show you these. We've got little hooks here. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that. Basically, we have one each corner of the far back, one either side of the middle, and one at the front. Which, for example, we'll just go here onto this ring, and the same on this side keeps it nice and flat, nice and tight. So I'll get the rest set up, and then uh, I'll give you a better look. I would say as well, it's probably easier to start with the lower down um, hoops, loops, whatever you want to call them. Just otherwise, once you've got your top one up, you're kind of leaning, leaning over. So I'll do the bottom either side, then I'll work my way up. I've done all the corners now. The last one just at the top here sits in nicely and as you can see that um, it didn't take us too long I don't know if you can see in there now now I'm out of the way we've got the door so it's a double layer we can go all the way over with both then we can also just as it says undo the one I see that from the other side actually, so I'll do that first. 
We undo that. So you'll be doing this from the inside of your tent, so be a bit easy about that. And then we can close this one now, as you can see. You've got your fly mesh up, uh, nothing's getting in there with you, but you've still got a bit of air coming in and a little bit more light. So if I take you off here now, and I'll um, I'll show you in there a little bit better. So if we unzip ourselves again, this is the inside of your tent. For example, I will get in. Like I say, it will be um, a bit lower down at the head end, but still plenty of room for me. As you can see, I'm not tucked right against the back here. So you can either have your luggage next to you, or you can get right in the middle. We've got a little hook up here, a um, little torch, a little lamp if you've got one. You've got your pocket at the front either side, um, stitched in the middle, and then the same over this side. And that's about it really. Um, what we can do, I'm going to put my phone down for one minute, but I'll shut, um, I'll shut the porch off just to give you a quick example of that. Right, so we're all shut in now. The only thing I haven't done, which I will point out, I've not um, pegged where the zip meets the ground, so it is slacking a bit. I'll, I'll just quickly show you that. So what I mean, I've, obviously you peg this out, um, stop it flapping around, I've not done that. But you get the idea. If we shut ourselves in, like I say, you've got your two two zips obviously I'm doing that one hand I'm not having to hold the tent at all um, to keep it steady so it, the zips work fine I'll go again with this one Just pull it through because I've got that stuck on the other side that's my own fault so we go round again like I say a bit more privacy and there you go guys that's the inside of the tent so you have it guys that's the Euro hike backpacker deluxe two-man tent um, I've not put the guy ropes up I'm only the garden like I, said, I was just doing this to give you guys a bit of a better idea of the tent I'll give you one last walk around now it's um, all the way up with the inside as well it's not gonna look much different from the outside but um, I will just quickly go around so yeah so here's your window what has on about that's a bit of light and it's a bit hard to tell at the minute also what I did forget to mention with these flaps as well as velcro shutting they've got like a little velcro arm you can see that very well just to keep them a bit more open um, i've not put all the pegs in as well like i say you've got your fluorescent guy ropes nice and bright you'll be able to see them in the dark um i'm not sure how many pegs i've got spare because i know i've not used them all like i say i've not pegged down here or here uh, and that's the same on the other sides. I've not really got it quite straight, I don't think, but for a quick effort, it's not too bad. Like I say, more guy ropes. Um, and when you are setting up as well, like I say, you'll see the time lapse video, but I'm not talking through it. You've just got the two poles, one at the front and one at the back. As you'll notice, um, this is your actual pole, it's got a bit of yellow tape around it and a little bit of yellow stitching on the back same with the front but with grey and obviously it's just grey but if you also try and remember if you're struggling the front one is going to be the tall one um, so the biggest pole and the back one is going to be the shorter pole I hope I do hope this video helps you out um, if you have any questions please feel free to pop them in the comments and I will reply to each and every one like I say for the price brilliant little tent I've been in it I'd say a good 20 times now wind rain um, no issues not this exact one like I said at the start again this is new I just want you guys to see it out of the bag um, just in case mine looks a bit battered now and you might be thinking oh it's a bit of a scruffy tent but it has believe me been through quite a bit and it's got me through some good little trips um, what I will mention though comes in at about three kilograms uh, with everything it comes with here whether you upgrade your ropes and um, then if you can upgrade your poles maybe to a bit lighter I'm not sure so it is a bit heavier than some two-man tents 
um, you can get them for around two kilograms a nice two month tent but it's a nice size tent you have got the porch um, so in a bit of wind and rain you can zip yourself up still do a bit of cooking and also it's just a bit of a bit of bigger area for storage if you've got your bag you've got your muddy boots you want to pop them in there what I will say is though some people have mentioned um, there's no ground sheet in the porch so what I've done is so it's walk over here one minute i've not put it back in the bag properly this is the ground sheet i'll use um it's only a little one tell you what i will quickly unroll it so if you just give me a minute this is what i bought like i say it's not too big it doesn't quite fit in perfectly obviously it's not designed for the tent so you might have to do a bit of folding like i do but that was uh, i think it's about three pound from home bargains and it's done the job you've got um six holes for the pegs one in each corner again and one in the middle and it's done me great so like i say guys any questions please get in touch hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll catch you next time